Today the city of Kharkiv is boiling with uh, political discussions. This is traditionally a region that looks towards Russia. We're not far from the Russian border here. They've still got uh, a Lenin statue here of which they're very proud. Everybody here speaks the Russian language. So you would think that here people would be quite against events in Kiev and against what uh, has been happening in terms of President Yanukovych fleeing office. Well, things are a little bit more complicated than that. This crowd here are broadly against the new government and in particular they're here today to defend the Lenin statue which they're worried uh, that, that those supporters of the new government will come and rip down. But they're not necessarily all supporters of President Yanukovych because many people feel that he allowed uh, the problems of the last three months, they allowed uh, the country to descend into, into the chaos that it now finds itself in. At the other end of the street there is the governor's office, the office of Mikhail Dobkin, the very, very pro-Russian governor, but he's not in his office today. In fact, outside his office are the supporters of the new government. The anti-Yanukovych crowd are there trying to stop him coming to work. And in fact, nobody knows where he is. He hasn't been seen since yesterday. And there are even rumours that he may have fled. So in Kharkiv, you can't say that everybody's on one side or everybody's on the other. But one thing you can say is that political discussions are hot today and there are lots of really quite vehement argues, arguments going on between the two sides.